will just be here listening to my tunes. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video I wanted to share with you guys my reading tastes again, uh, but this time I'm try I'm going to try to explain my reading tastes based on my music tastes. <laughs> Perhaps you guys want to see what kind of music I listen to as well. So this would be a good combination. <laughs> um, okay, without further ado, let's just begin. Um, so, whenever I tell anybody about my music taste, when they ask me what kind of music I listen to, I always tell them this genre because it's something that I listen to a lot of, and that is punk music. <laughs> and, um, it's very interesting because I, I guess I don't really look like the type of person to listen to punk music because whenever I tell someone like, oh yeah, my favorite genre of music is punk, they're like, what? <laughs> so, uh, or they question me and say, do you really? So, yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, okay, so the punk that I'm referring to, I'll just name a couple of bands. That is, uh, Bad Religion, No Effects, um, The Descendants and The Vandals. Um, so, yeah, uh, very crazy, very fun, um, and the reason why I like it is because it's very fast-paced and, um, I love the lyrics in it. Uh, the lyrics are very, well, they're sometimes pretty funny <laughs> and very, like, out there, but it's also, like, um, very hard hitting, talking about like um, political stuff uh, and like issues going on in today's society. So I wanted, so because of like the lyrics and stuff, um, I decided that because I like punk music, my reading tastes are that I like memoirs and uh, political books. <laughs> or hard-hitting books. I have a couple of examples uh, for my favorite books in this genre, as well as books that I have not read, but I picked up. So it kind of shows you that I do like this, these types of, this type of like, area, I guess, my reading taste. So the two books that I picked out uh, for this genre um, is, <laughs> Life After Death by Damien Eccles. I have read this before and it, I love it. <laughs> and it's amazing. It's a memoir about this guy who's in prison and sentenced to uh, death row. And um, he was falsely accused. And uh, yeah, um, I talk more about it in my favorite books of 2020, uh, as well as like my wrap up for whenever I read this, uh, but it's more prominent in the 2021, so I'll just link that in the cards. The next book that I read uh, that goes in this taste is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This isn't really fic, uh, this is fictional, this isn't nonfiction, and um, it's very political and very amazing and uh, yeah, um, something that I really enjoyed, yeah. Um, and then the two books that I picked out and are on my shelves but I haven't read yet, um, just to show you guys that I do pick out this genre, I guess, is 
Uh, Autobiography of a Face by Lucy Grayley. Grayley. Um, and this is about a memoir about this girl who she, Lucy Grayley, um, she had, was diagnosed with terminal cancer, um, potentially when she was nine. So this is just about her experience with that and um, having her face be like a bit um, out of the norm, I guess. <laughs> so yeah. Um, anyways, yeah. And uh, the last one is uh, Na Naum Chomsky's On Anarchism. This is a book about anarchism. <laughs> and yeah, um, something I picked out, something I'm looking forward to reading. Next genre that I listen to is post-punk and, um, or goth music, I guess. Um, I refer to it as post-punk post because I don't know, like, not a lot of goths listen to post-punk or, like, tradi traditional goth music like this, um, so that's why I don't really refer to it as goth music, but yeah. Um, so the music that I'm referring to is two bands, um, and that is The Cure and Echo and the Bunnymen. And, uh, for this, this type of music, uh, I feel like it really correlates to my love of books that really deal with relationships. Um, so on my first uh, reading taste video, I told you guys that I don't normally like books that <laughs> have relationships that deal with purely character relationships, then, and it doesn't have a plot. Um, but then I read a couple of books that dealed with character relationships that I loved, so, um, I clearly accidentally lied in that. So, uh, the books that I am going to be referring to, uh, for post-punk, um, is, okay, these are all books that I've read. I didn't really feel like I could pick out something in my shelves. I guess I could pick out some things. Hold on. Okay, so <laughs> these are all the books I read, like that I've read before. Uh, the Road by Cormac McCarthy deals with relationships, um, a, particularly a relationship between a father and his son in a, a post-apocalyptic world, and um, very great Loved it. <laughs> um, okay. And then the next is Alice Hoffman's Practical Magic. I still really like this book, even though I read it, like, more than a year ago. It's still just really amazing, and, um, it's very atmospheric, too, which can be said for all these books. Well, most of them that I've read, but yeah. <laughs> um... And like with post-punk, it's, um, I feel like it's very atmospheric as well, so that kind of correlates together. Um, and then the next is Marissa Stapley's Things to Do When It's Raining. This is also a, deals with relationships between, um, a girl and this love interest that was, um, he was her love interest when she was a teenager and it takes place like when she's like 30 or something i don't know and then uh, as well as the relationship between her grandma and grandfather and their like struggle i guess with being together uh and then practical magic deals with sisterly uh relationships so the next uh, genre of music that I listen to. I have to be in a certain mood to listen to, um, and that is pop music, specifically Taylor Swift and Aurora. Uh, I love, these are the only pop music, like, creators that I would listen to. Uh, if there's anything like them, I would probably listen to them, but, uh, for now, I just listen to Taylor Swift and Aurora, um, and yeah, 
If you have any recommendations, uh, comment down below because I am looking to expand my music taste. <laughs> um, the one thing I do not want to listen to is rap. So, um, no rap, sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so pop music, for pop music, I kind of correlated it with romance or contemporary books, which I do have a lot to share. So the only one that I haven't read in this huge stack is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, McQuiston, M yeah, <laughs> and, um, yeah, uh, but I picked it out and um, it's on my shelf and, um, you know, I need to read it. So, <laughs> okay. And then the rest are books I have read. Um, so Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Romance, Contemporary, um, The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. This, like, series I did really like, um, but it like, the character Belly, like, she kind of can get on my nerves, but I still really liked this series. Um, let's see. Where the Heart Is by Belly Let- Billy Letts. <laughs> um, Belly Letts, wow. Okay. This was, like, just so cute, and I love the movie that goes along with this, um, but I feel like- I don't know, like, I grew up with the movie, so, like, it still has a place in my heart, but I do really like the book, too. Um, The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. It's another romance, contemporary romance that I loved. Um, and The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren, which is another contemporary romance that I loved. Um, yeah. <laughs> cool. The next genre that I do listen to a lot of is what I would classify as emo um, because in my emo phase, I might put some po photos here, but who knows, um, I listen to these bands, so I only refer to these this genre as emo, <laughs> but it is Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, and Panic at the Disco. I do need to be in a certain mood to listen to this genre of music, but I don't have to be in this certain mood to um, read these books. <laughs> so, for example, for, um, no, I didn't even tell you guys the genre. Okay. So, for the emo book or the emo genre, I would correlate that with supernatural slash paranormal romances or just supernatural paranormal adventures in general. These books, um, the reason why I correlate them together with uh, emo is because I, I uh, read a lot of these in um, my teen emo years, so they are together in my mind. <laughs> So the only thing that, that I haven't read, but I have read of the author is The Good, The Bad, and The Undead by Kim Harrison, which is like a, like, supernatural bounty hunter type book, which sounds pretty cool. So that's why I picked it up. But yeah. <laughs> um, and then these books are, the next two are what I read in, when I was... Uh, email. Um, and it is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. Still holds a high place in my heart and I love it. Um, and Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick, which kind of holds a place in my heart still, but like not as much as Twilight. So the next genre that I listen to a lot of is not really a genre, it's more of a band, and that band is Man or Astro Man. A very weird title, very weird music, as you can hear, maybe, uh, if I decide to play it in the background. A very weird band, very weird music, but they're just amazing, and uh, the only way I can describe them is like retro 1960s science fiction meets surf rock <laughs> and uh yeah um if that interests you 
<laughs> uh, okay, so uh, with this band, I'd correlate it with uh, weird science fiction because that's the only thing in my noggin that I could think of. And uh, yeah, here's some examples. So the first example is something that I'm currently reading, and that is uh, The Long Way to the Small and Angry Planet, I believe, by Becky Chambers. I'll just put it up here. I'm not sure if I got that right. But I'm like a quarter, or not a quarter, a third of the way through it, and I just, I love it. <laughs> it's perfect, weird science fiction that I love. It kind of reminds me of like Firefly, that TV show, which I'd describe as um, space cowboys. And uh, if that sounds interesting to you as well, then totally watch that. Although it does have only one season and um, it got canceled, so there's a lot of unresolved like things. But there is a movie that kind of resolves everything, but yeah. Okay, um, next book is Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park. Uh, weird science fiction. Not really weird, but very science fiction-y. And I love it. <laughs> um, as if you guys are subscribers or know me at all, you know that I love Michael Crichton. So yeah. Um, next books are kind of what I, um, well, next books are what I found on my shelves that I have bought before um, and plan on reading and totally match up with this weird science fiction genre and that is 2001 a space odyssey i don't think this is much weird but it's very science fictiony and um yeah i want to read it <laughs> but yeah okay and then the next book is ghost talkers by mary robinette cowell cowell um and it's like a science fiction where like this psych psychic medium uh, tries to see what, like, evidence she can get from a dead British soldier and see who killed him during, like, World War II. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sounded very interesting, as you can tell, and um, hopefully it's good. Um, if it's not, and it's, like, uh, what do you call it? If it's not good and it's like The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I'm going to be so sad because this had such great potential. Um, hopefully it's good. I haven't read it yet. Next genre of music that I listen to and what correlates to that genre is the band is called Wardruna. Or, or Wardrana. I call it Wardruna. Um, it is a Viking, um, more, like, instrumental band, I guess. Um, and, I don't know, I just, I love them. <laughs> They're a really great band. Um, and something that, I don't know, is good. <laughs> so, with this, I correlate these this band with uh, witchy or Norse stuff, um, which I, I read a lot of, of like Norse mythology or like uh, Norse religion. And I also read a lot of witch books. So um, let's see. So some examples are Real Magic by Dean, Ra Dean Radin, PhD. Um, I haven't read this, but I am totally looking forward to it because it look it's, it just sounds so interesting. It's just about like how science proves magic, I guess. Um, like, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, here's two like Norse stuff. So the Norse Myths, A Guide to the Gods and Heroes by Carolyn Larrington. Um, this I've read before and I really loved. <laughs> and uh, 
also true for beginners by Matthias Nordvig, PhD. And um, yeah, this is also something that I read and loved. Yeah. The next and last music genre that I will get into and that I listen to actually is folk music, which yes, I know I listen to a cluster of stuff. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, okay, so for folk music, I do have a whole playlist on Spotify that has all my, like, favorite songs on there of, like, folk indie music. Um, the, if you follow, no, um, I might be able to link it down in the description box, but if not, um, you guys could also go to uh, Alex Rainbird Music, and he creates really great um, folk indie playlists that I usually just listen to his, mu his playlists on Spotify or YouTube and um, just add the songs I like to my own playlist. <laughs> um, okay, and then the next, um, like, artist that I listen to for folk music is Mumford and Sons. Um, the, these, um, this genre is, correlates, no, this genre correlates to, uh, atmospheric storytelling for me. So, um, these, uh, like, include all the ones I had for post-punk, which, um, yeah, so it's like The Road, Practical Magic, and uh, Things to Do When It's Raining, but I also have more, but I have not read them, so. Um, okay, <laughs> uh, for Atmospheric, I choose Stephen King. It doesn't even have to be Bag of Bones, but, like, because Stephen King is a very atmospheric writer. And so that's why I pick it out. Okay, the next is um, Horns by Joe Hill, which I believe is Stephen King's son. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. Not really into that, but like, I don't even like know. But yeah, um, I feel like this is uh, atmospheric. Just, I don't know. <laughs> um, Anyways, okay, next is The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. Um, this just se seems very atmospheric to me. I've never read it. Um, as well as The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. Um, this just sounds very atmospheric as well. So, so that was all um, that I have. <laughs> All the music that I listen to, again, well, no. Uh, so that is it. That's all the music that I listen to, and uh, hopefully um, this video um, made you learn a little bit more about my reading tastes. Uh, I know it's weird. Um, my reading tastes are strange, but so is my music taste. So I guess my tastes are just strange. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, that was it. Um, let me know down the, in the comments. Um, you could uh, tell me if you listen to any of the bands that I listen to or if you um, like the books that I mentioned or if you have any recommendations for me, books or music-wise <laughs> or just anything. <laughs> anyways, um, so yeah, um, also, have you guys ever had um, an experience like me where you're asked about what you listen to and you say it and then people are very surprised? I'd love to know if that's just me or if it's other people too. <laughs> um, anyways, okay, so, <laughs> so that's it. Thanks for watching and um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up I guess if you want you don't have to if you liked my like my channel then give me a subscribe but you do not have to um 
And I'll see you guys uh, next Thursday. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye. <laughs>